there, stampers! It's Jackie Ballhuis from Clump and Stampers. Is it too early to make Christmas cards? I don't think so. You know, sometimes I feel like we wait until the last minute and then they're rushed. Well, today we're going to make a Christmas card. Now, if you're not ready to start making Christmas cards, that's okay. Because really what today is all about is showing you a super cool and easy layout that you can make using any designer series paper. If you've followed me for a while, you know I love using designer series paper. Let it be the focal point of your card and then just add a greeting and you've got some beautiful cards that are really easy to make. So that's really what I wanna share with you today is a fun layout using designer series paper. Any paper will work but I am using Christmas paper. Now the paper I'm using is actually free paper. Who likes free? I like free. As you know, hopefully, right now we are in the middle of celebration and it goes all the way to the end of September. And with every $50 you order from Stampin' Up, you can select a free item. And the paper I'm using to show you this idea is actually free paper. So if you like this paper, it's one that you can grab for free when you place a $50 order. Now remember, stay with me if you're not interested in ordering or in Christmas cards because I think you might like this layout idea that you can really do with any papers and then just add a greeting of your choice. So before we flip the camera down, just a quick reminder, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. I would love to help you with all your stamping needs, answer your questions, and help you in any way that I can. Hop over to my website. You can request a catalog there or contact me with any question. Now speaking of my website, down in the description of this video will be a link to take you to a very specific blog post. It'll show pictures of the card I share, well cards, because we're going to make one and I got two more to share with you. But I'll have pictures of them as well as all the cutting measurements, the directions, a list of all the supplies I use, and also the link to place an order if you'd like to place one and get this paper for free. So all the details are on that blog post. So check out that link to go over there so that you can find all those details. I think we're ready to get to work. What do you think? Let's go ahead, flip the camera down, and let's get to creating. Hang on one second. The paper that we're using, like I said, is one that's available until the 30th of September for free. You can't buy this paper. It's a freebie if you place a $50 order, and you can see it right here. I fell in love with this paper. Now it does coordinate with the Peaceful Deer Bundle, but that's not what we're using. We're just focusing on this paper because it is the perfect paper for not only Christmas cards, but it has just some great, what I like to call kind of generic prints that you can use for a lot of your cards. Then, like I said, this is all about that layout. Designer series paper and add a greeting. So since we're making Christmas cards, I am using greetings from the Christmas to Remember stamp set. I love the font on this and it seemed to kind of go nice with the, the style of this paper. And it also gave me inside and outside words, which I'm always looking for stamp sets that do that. So let's set that aside because the stamping part and the greeting is the last part we're doing. First, I wanna show you the layout. Oh, we're upside down there. There you go. I don't know if that bothers you. It bothered me. So, sorry. Felt like that was a squirrel moment. I have my designer series paper. We're also going to pull in our paper trimmer here. Now, this piece of paper is four and three quarters by three and a half. So, again, these measurements are on the website, but if you want to jot them down, that's what it is. And we're going to start out, this is kind of a triangle layout. We're going to go ahead and take this and put it in my paper trimmer, and we're going to cut in an angle from corner to corner. With this paper trimmer, that's real easy because you see the little cutting groove right there. I can line up each little point there, close it down, and cut it. Then we're going to open it up, and we're going to keep that paper together and spin it. And if it kind of shifts a little bit, make sure you line it back up, and we're going to cut the other direction. So once again, we want that corner in the gro cutting groove there and this one here. Make sure our point's still lined up. And then go ahead and close that. Whoops, we kind of slid apart there. Let's double check this here. We want to get it as accurate as we can. So keep them together. And there, that should be better. Close it up, make sure they're together and cut. Phew, there, I think we did it. Now we're gonna just take this out, kind of keeping our pieces how they were so I can show you what we're gonna do. And let's slide our cutter out of the way. 
Now you can see there was our original paper. Now we want to go ahead and flip two of them. So we could flip these two or we could flip these two. I don't know that it really matters. Now, in all honesty, if you wanted to make a whole bunch of these cards, you could cut a bunch of pieces and you could even mix and match them. Like if you didn't want the green tones on all of this, you could cut a piece that was had red kind of prints on both sides and then intermix them. But we're gonna stick with the greens for this particular card. And we're gonna layer them onto a piece of basic white. Now this piece just has to coordinate with your paper. I've actually been kind of liking using white as a, a layer versus always the layer we stamp on. And this is just a quarter inch bigger. So it's five by three and three quarters. And I found to glue these down here, I like to use my liquid adhesive, remember not too much, but I like to start at the top here and I'm it, it's a complete eyeball game. I'm just trying to get it straight across with kind of a even border there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a side piece. Now, as you pick these up, make sure you put that adhesive on the right side. And then part of the reason I like this liquid is I feel like I can slide it a little bit. So I'm looking for kind of an even border in the middle and along the sides. And then let's come down and do this bottom piece. And the, and the points should all line up pretty good. Um, again, we're just kind of looking for that even border. Try to get it somewhat straight. I feel like these never go perfectly even and perfectly straight. But once you add the greeting stuff on it, it really doesn't matter. So we'll get this one in there. Seems like the last one's always the toughest because you want to make sure you still have a nice little white border in your edges. So there we go. There is that card layer. As long as we have that sitting here, let's grab our base. So the base can be, again, any color. We just want something that coordinates. And I thought the crumb cake looked really nice with most of these papers because it's just, it's kind of more that earthy look. Okay, there is that part of our card. Now let's go ahead and make our greeting. So scrap of basic white. And we're gonna take one of the stamps from that Christmas to remember. May this be a season to remember and cherish. And then I have a punch. And you know what? I cannot remember the name of this punch. So you're gonna have to look at my website. I'll have it listed with all the supplies I used. We'll punch that out. And we are about ready to put this card together. Actually, as long as we're stamping, I have a layer for the inside. I always like to make the inside of my cards and my envelopes look pretty as well. So I'll show you what I like to do on envelopes as soon as we finish up the card. So let's take another stamp that is part of that Christmas to remember. So this is kind of a unique font. So I like using that same stamp for the outside and the inside because then we know those fonts coordinate really nice. And let's see, my basic white I think was five by three and three quarters. We're gonna layer it onto a piece of garden green. So when it's in the inside, it coordinates with that green from the outside. You know, I always like to put white on the inside and sometimes I put a layer with it, sometimes not. But I thought since this card was so simple, let's just play with some colored cardstock to jazz it up a little bit. Okay, stamping's done. Let's get rid of that black ink pad so we don't make a boo-boo. And I am going to take some silver cord here. This comes in a package with both gold and silver. And we are going to make kind of a, well, it's a bow, but we're going to attach it, I think, a little bit differently than what you've seen me do before. Um, you'll see a lot of samples in Stampin' Up's catalogs or items they post on social media or whatever that have these bigger bows that are underneath a layer, like a greeting layer like this. So it's a bow, but it really is just kind of looks like loops coming out from a side and then pieces coming out. So I wanna show you, it's not like the nicest bow, I guess, and you wanna make it pretty big and have pretty big tails. Okay, we can trim these off later. Now like you wouldn't put that on its own on there, but you'll see what we're gonna do is just take a little glue dot here and we'll stick that on it. And I'm gonna stick it not in the center. I want it kind of up and over a little bit. 
Okay, again, we wouldn't leave it there, but then when we take our greeting that we punched out, and we're gonna stick a bunch of dimensionals on here, and we're gonna put that right over the bow. So this will give us those, you know, kind of loops coming up and the tails coming down. And you can kind of adjust these pieces to kind of come down and up because wherever those dimensionals are, it will, it will kind of hold them. So we'll kind of center that in there. And there we go. But you can see how that cording just adds a nice little touch to it. And then there's the inside. Now I got two more to show you, but first I wanna show you a little envelope trick to get everything to coordinate. You know, we want these pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and use another piece. This is a different print. So it still is that garden green, but we'll kind of coordinate some fun with some prints. And it doesn't matter what size it is. It just needs to be wider than our envelope flap. So we gotta flip it this way. And I'm gonna take my adhesive here and make sure I put a little bit way close to the edges and up to that fold line. Again, not too much. You don't want it gooshing out on you. And then we're gonna take this piece and I'm gonna bump it right up to that fold line. You can kind of slide it right up there easy and then give it some good pressure. And this is where I said, it just needs to be big enough to fit on there. And then you can flip it over and use your paper snips. If you guys don't have a good scissors, this little paper snips is amazing. Super easy to cut with, nice and sharp for paper. And it just makes going around corners and small spaces nice and easy. There we go. There is our envelope flap for our Christmas card. What do you think? Was that easy enough? You know, I'm really letting the paper do the work and just add a nice greeting on there. So here's a couple other ones that I made. These are all from that same free pack of paper. Huh, dimensional stuff. But you can see how they all are, are the same color scheme because this paper has that same kind of color scheme front to back. But this is where I was saying you could cut a red and cut a green and, you know, make two of them red, two of them green, flip flop them around. Um, for this one, for the inside, I just added a little strip of that designer series paper, use up those scraps that way. I'm trying to make all insides a little bit different. This one I have opening like so, so it's just cut four and a quarter by 11 instead of five and a half by eight and a half. And then I even did a layer of that designer series paper on the inside, along with a little smaller piece of the white. So there you go. Super fun and easy card layout using designer series paper. Now again, it doesn't have to be Christmas. This is a great way to use up any of those papers you have sitting around. All you need is a piece four and three quarters by three and a half and you can make a beautiful card with it. And then add any greeting. If whether you have a greeting stamp set or you take a greeting from any of your stamp sets, you could add anything to it. So hope you like this idea and I hope you give it a try. So if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to me, leave me a comment or message me. I'm happy to help you in any way that I can. So don't forget, celebration runs till September 30th. You get a free item with every $50 you purchase from Stampin' Up! And this paper is one of those items you can select if you like it. So I'll be stamping again with you real soon. Have a stamp happy day.